great to meet you. It was so good to meet you too. Thank you so much for having me. Yeah, I mean, so you are the youngest person to play La Blues, is this true? Yes, I am 16 years old and I am so unbelievably grateful and excited to be here. I just finished my set a little while ago. It, it was amazing. I had a blast. Um, you know, being, being a black trans performer in electronic music or music it's very hard to kind of make your way in spaces like this in like gigantic festivals with big crowds and big stages you know this is something i've wanted to do ever since i was little and you know now i get to finally live out my childhood dreams and be here and play my crazy weird music for everyone which is the best thing ever yes it's so exciting and making history all in the process and yeah. in several ways right Um, and, and tell me about your identity, How, what pronouns do you prefer? I'm non-binary, agender specifically. I use they, them pronouns exclusively, and I probably have a bias Hey, I love it. Okay. It's very important to be respectful and, you know, put those in the argument. So we want to make sure that you're represented the right way. Of course. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. And we're happy to have the LGBT representation in La Blusa. Definitely. I have covered it many years with nobody. You know, it's just really? all straight. So it's so wonderful to see everything. I mean, we, I think Thursday maybe was the gayest uh, day we've ever had. Oh my God, <laughs> yes. I love that for you. I absolutely love that for you. And it's I, awesome. And I got to, you know, I got to tell Kim Petras, like, what she means to me. Right? Like, what, it goes way beyond music. Absolutely. She is so inspiring to me. Yeah. She really is. She is so incredible at everything that she does. I didn't even... I didn't even know at the time, but when I learned, it made me feel so much more like myself. Because seeing other trans performers in this space killing it, it just it just makes me so happy to know that I'm not alone and that I'm not the only one here trying to make a space for other LGBTQI producers and DJs and singers, dancers, artists, you know. It's just truly amazing to be that figure that they need to push forward. You're from New York originally, right? No, I'm from LA. You're from LA. Yes. Are you in New York? Or why did I read the book in New York? No. So you're LA, totally. Yeah, I was in New York a couple times for like some engagements, like uh, the oh. Goldie Awards. I was a, I was a, um, I was a finalist for the Goldie Awards uh, when I was uh, back in 2019. I'm gonna say uh, it was, it was a blast. It was so much fun going out to New York, being at Brooklyn's Field, meeting H Rat, Kittens, uh, Alice in Wonderland, take a day trip. Who I'm now very in uh, the latter three. Actually, the latter, all of them, I've been uh, very close with now, ever nice. since the Goldies. Uh, unique as well. So it's just really amazing to kind of, you know, build these friendships with people who honestly think you're just going to meet once and then they're going to forget all about you and vice versa. Right. Um, but well, to just have been able to make connections with these people has just been the best ever. Yeah, and the DJ community is very, um, it's it's very collaborative and very, it's not like competitive as much as some, some of them. Honestly, yeah. I mean, a lot of us, like, that's why we have back-to-backs. I mean, you don't really see a lot of back-to-backs, back-to-back singers or, like, duets or, you know, stuff like that. But with DJs and music producers, especially in the dance space, collaboration is our way of getting to know people. Collaboration is our way of getting to talk to people and getting to know them better and getting to understand their workflow and how we can adapt our workflow to different situations. And so, for me personally, I love collaborations. I only do it with my friends, really. Um, but for me, doing collabs is just so gratifying and so fun. Nice. Okay. Um, and where, where did you grow up? You grew up in the cover? Yep. Okay. And then family's been good? Not in their problems in my house? Uh, for the most part, coming out was a bit of a struggle, but my She flew out with me four fucking hours all the way from Las Vegas because our flight at, from Ontario, which was close to us, got canceled as we were driving to Ontario Airport. So we had to rebook a flight, drive three hours to Las Vegas, fly from Las Vegas to here, and then on top of that, she's been walking around with me all day for the past few days with a back injury. Oh my gosh, I want to meet your mom. She's she's back at our trailer. Oh, okay, well if she comes around. Yeah, she's she's truly amazing. She's a trooper. I love her so much. Wow, that's so great. I love it. And the story is really interesting too. It's been a journey to get here. Yeah. 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 <laughs> but at least we got to move the view. 
Yes. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, tell me about being a character designer. I saw it on your Twitter. What is that exactly? Yes. So typically, character designers, especially for television animation, um, that typically means doing design explorations for specific characters for a television pitch or a film pitch or you know a television series. Um, for me personally, I got into character design uh, at the beginning of quarantine and my skill has been improving ever since then. Uh, I've been doing artistic explorations with some of my own characters for my own series and you know, helping my friends out with theirs, my other friends in the animation industry. Um, and you know, I've just been trying to grow that skill more so that I have yet another skill that I can utilize in various different forms, whether it be for my music or just to get another job to make more money or to, you know, meet more people and share my art with the world. So. You are so creative and at such a young age. It's Thank you. wonderful to see. I love everything about you now. Thank I'm you. glad that other people can see it too because they will. It's just great. You're just going to do flourish in something amazing all the time. Thank you. Um, so, and so they just announced today that they just canceled from everything. What is your thoughts on that? And Thank the Lord. <laughs> oh my God. Because I swear to God, if he was still performing, I mean, honestly, to, to be honest, I'm just really glad that, you know, the organizers of Lollapalooza understand and respect the safety and importance of LGBTQ performers um, in this industry because there are a lot of us here. There are drag performers here. There are people like me, uh, Hannah Rad, who's hosting the stream on Hulu. You know, there are a lot of us out here doing it and we deserve to be respected and seen as equals and be treated as equals and be loved and seen by people and respected for who we are. And having an artist like the booty hole was not gonna work out for us. It was not because right. at the end of the day, how are you going to have a blatant homophobe perform at a concert filled with diverse, unique, and beautiful performers. It just would have contradicted the entire festival, for me personally. So I just really appreciate the organizers and the event buyers and promoters of Lala for seeing us and hearing us and understanding that we deserve to be loved, we deserve to be put in spaces like this to show our stuff, to strut, to dance, to sing, and play. And knowing that we would be uncomfortable doing that if there were people like Jonathan there. Yeah, yes. Oh my gosh, thank you for that. I mean, preach on a Sunday. That's so <laughs> important. Amen. <laughs> yes. Um, what future plans are, do you have? Uh, as of right now, I am. this is actually the very first date on my Blossom 2021 festival run. So you can catch me next at, and as I am saying this, I am opening up my Instagram so I can check the poster so I don't say anything I'm not supposed to say. Okay. Um, you can catch me next uh, in Brooklyn at the By This, uh, by this Block Party uh, on 8-8. At 828, I'll be in Lake Havasu City, Arizona for Lake Radies and Lemonade. Then after that, I'd like to see you in New York, Lost in Dreams in Vegas. And another milestone for me, I am the youngest and first non-binary performer to perform at EDC Las Vegas. Okay. Um, the other, the, uh, we, I get to make history with one of my coolest friends ever, Water Spirit. She is amazing. I love them so much. Um, they are, they typically, you know, uh, play hard style, happy hardcore, um, you know, drum and bass, uh, dubstep. They're just such an incredible performer and I love them with every fiber of my being. And to see another uh, non-binary and gender non-conforming performer at this festival with me, you know, getting to make these milestones for Insomniac, it's just, it's just such a wonderful achievement and it's such an incredible thing to you know, bear witness to, and I'm just, I'm just so grateful to be a part of it. So. You are breaking down barriers, doing all kinds. I mean, oh my gosh. <laughs> um, and so then, where, where can people follow you? You know, uh, you can follow me anywhere um, at more kismet at m o o r e k i s m e t on all social media platforms except for Twitter. On Twitter, it's the exact same thing, but with an underscore at the end. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much where you can find me. Uh, especially Instagram if you want to keep updated on my life or you know everything that I'm doing artistically Instagram and sometimes Twitter are the best places to be uh, so yeah I'm just very appreciative of you know this opportunity getting to perform here at fucking Lollapalooza <laughs> it, it still blows my mind that I get to do something like this and I'm just, I'm just so grateful yeah well, we're happy to have you Thank so you. and come back to Chicago again I would absolutely to if anyone, even the people at C3 who book Lollapalooza, if they're interested in ever booking me for
for like maybe my own headline show. Yes. You know, <laughs> I'm I'm always down for that, and that would be the most amazing thing ever. And I would sincerely appreciate that. Um, I would love to come back to Chicago. I actually played a after party at the Chop Shop for uh, Brownies and Lemonade the night before this. Um, some of the best crowd reactions I've ever had. Um, everybody was enjoying the set. It was just such a wonderful time. Oh, I love it. I love it. I'm so happy for you. Thank you so much. I think you seem like someone that envisions something and makes it happen. Absolutely. So you're going to do it. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Thank you.